You can only put it on so thick. Now I'm going to try to put just a hair more on there, but that's it. That's all I can do on that. I just have to be careful where I'm walking so I don't step in this stuff. Two-inch brush works just fine underneath here. I couldn't have used a bigger brush, could I? But this was, this was the area that I built up the other day. Right in here, there was a little bit of water. It rained one day, and the water kind of puddled right there. Only about uh, less than an eighth of an inch. And so I built it up. I poured some of that on there. Some of this flooring material coating and I just poured it on there and I I just kind of brushed off the top and I'll end up doing a little bit more here when I get the roller out here in a minute I'm not gonna do it right this minute I guess I I guess I could And then just go up to it with the uh, with the paint roller. Just this is what I did the other day. this over here with my brush instead of the roller. It's all right, I can do that. Because when I built this floor, uh, before I put the uh, this roofing material on here, I angled this here going down this direction and from here down like that, same thing in this corner, up a little bit high, so that when the water came down, it would hit here and want to flow out towards the outside. And I 
I did that around the other column too. Ooh, my phone. I did that. I did that over here too. I built this this floor up here just a little bit and then over here to flow down. And I did that because I could. I decided that's what I wanted to do. Because they had so many leaks. This floor, you should have seen it. It was all dry rotted. The whole thing I had to I had to tear out and redo. So I want to make sure it does not happen again. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Sir Rebub. Oh, sir. So each coat I'm putting is less than a sixteenth of an inch thick. Oh yeah, thirty second of an inch. And that's why that's why I'm putting on a few more coats. You know? Just thought that would be the prudent thing to do. so close. Just a, just a little bit of it on the stucco, damn it, damn it. Just a little. Well, I'll have to make note of that. And when I do my rest of my stucco patches, do any touch up, I'll have to uh, do a once over. When I get all the way done with this project. That's the signs of a good job by somebody is doing a, a final check of everything, a final touch up. Make sure everything is looking to your satisfaction. Hey, if you need to get the paint back out, you need to get the stucco patch 
back out, whatever you got to do at the end to make it look like you were never there. That's the whole, that's the whole idea of doing a job. Making it look like you were never there. Other than that it's new. But in some places you got to kind of blend in with the existing conditions and make it look like there was no work ever done. And that's what that's what I try to achieve anyways. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work so well. You learn you learn as you go or from the different projects that you do. Think okay, next time I need to do this, 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 and this differently. You're really gonna learn that by doing it. You know? You can only read so much out of books on how to do something. Or watching so many videos. I mean you can watch my videos all day long, but if you don't get out there and actually do it on your own, there's only so much you're gonna learn. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know it's ready. I'm ready to go in. My hands are cold, my feet are cold, the breeze is out, the sun is on the other side of the hills, and I'm just not gonna work anymore today. Well, that's all I have for this time. But I'll be back with more videos.